In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. You make sure they remember the night they played the Titans. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. lose. Well, I lost. Uh... <laughs> Let's say that. Uh, Friday Night Lights, high school bets. Every Friday we do them. Uh, Lana now is 3-0 and o on her bets. She this is won. awesome. I love this. Been crushing it. I okay. know. It's because I've been studying all the stats and just talking to the coaches and, you know, just really doing my research. Highly doubt that. Uh, but we are going to find But you have been winning. Uh, so, Zephyr Hills Bulldogs against the Wiregrass Ranch Bulls. I took the Bulls. You took the Bulldogs. Bulldogs won 31-10. That's right, Bulldogs. woo So the bet was you can text any question you want for Lana or I to answer, but it, whoever lost had to answer the questions. Uh, and we said, okay, whatever you can do that I can actually answer on the air without being fired, I will answer. I have to answer. That is the bet. Lana's going to pick the best five She's been laughing over the whole time, uh, laughing over there the whole time about questions you have texted in. I'm a little bit nervous about this, um, so we'll see how this goes. All right, Lana, what are the five questions that you want to ask me? We'll do one at a time, obviously. All right, all right. this is any questions. These are all from the QYK family, correct? Mm, yeah, they all are. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, Jenny in Pinellas Park wants to know what is the most outrageous thing that you've done to get a girl's attention to ask her out? Ooh, man. Um. I mean, you've gotten to do something. Yeah, outrageous thing. Well, we used to do the whole, um, uh, the whole <laughs> we did one where we, um, oh man, this is bad. We were at the beach back in the day and we dig like a little hole where it's like about as, as deep as your body. All mm-hmm. right. And you, and you lay it next to somebody. Okay. Like next to somebody's towel and you start throwing like little, um, uh, you know, Pebbles? bread or whatever mm-hmm. to get the, a bird, like a, a seagull oh. or a pigeon to start coming closer and closer to your towel. Well, they can't see you because you're buried, so the towel looks flat because you're like, a, a, like you know, a foot of sand. Mm-hmm. So you put the towel over me. Think about that, okay? So towel's over me. I look flat in the sand. Okay. As I hit my microphone away. <laughs> and they get them closer and closer, and as they get in the, the uh, bird, what bird will come onto the towel. And then as they come on the towel, you round up, you go, and you wrap it, and you grab the, the bird in the towel. But you're doing it right next to somebody who is just like, what just happened? And then you got a bird in the towel. Nothing's that wrong. That impresses a girl. <laughs> they, it's a conversation starter. You said it. You said it. I didn't say it worked. I just you said it. The craziest thing you've ever done. When we were back in high. We were like high school. You had <laughs> issues, really? Yeah, I gotta tell you, that is outrageous. It's outrageous. <laughs> That's outrageous. And it, was, it was a conversation starter. Didn't say it was a closer. Just a conversation starter. Kids, don't try this. At don't home. do that at home. Don't do that oh at the beach. Oh my gosh, that's I, horrible. You know, listen, I'm so much more mature now. I would never do something like that. But yes, we did that, and that got people's attention. I got the whole beach's attention, really. I can uh, imagine. And then yeah. you throw the towel up in the air, and the bird flies away, and they go, "Oh my gosh." You know, and then you start talking to him. There you go. There you go. This is high school, everybody. High school, everybody. I haven't done it in at least four months. All right, go ahead. Next one. All right. Um, I did get a lot of uh, text messages around this kind of same subject, but we're just going to go with uh, Kristen in Tampa's text. It says, are you currently single? Inquiring minds want to know. You're so handsome. I'll throw my hat into the ring for a date. Also, if so, is it serious? Wait, is it serious if I'm single? (laughs) <laughs> well, are you currently single? And if you say you can't just answer yes or no, she wants a little bit more. She wants a little bit. Sounds like she wants to know a little bit more. Yeah. Um, currently not single. Oh, Dating so someone. it's official. Dating someone, yes. Dating is, somebody, uh, okay. Very nice uh, girl who I'm dating. Okay. And uh, Kevin has met her. I have. Kevin, you have? Your thoughts, Kevin? How come you've met her and I haven't? I'm sorry, Lana. Yes, I've met her and she is absolutely lovely. When? So. When did you meet her? Um, a few months back. Yeah. What? Hell yes. Months? Yeah. How come you just met back. her? Because this reaction that you're having right now, <laughs> not sane, let's not bring you around her. But she's heard a lot about you, Lana. Has Jenny met her too? She has not. She has just not. me. Just, yeah. What? All right. Go this on. This isn't fair. All right. So it's pretty serious because you said months. We haven't been hanging out for a few months. I mean, it's getting, it has gotten more serious, kind of casual, well, so we've been hanging out. If yeah. Kevin's meeting her. Yeah. A lot of people have met her. Marshall have met her. Leah's met her. What uh, about um, Lana? Lana, no. When Lana's, am I going to meet her? Probably not, but go ahead. We'll move <laughs> why on. not? Because you, it's just, uh, it's a whole other thing, and you know why. I'm so. like your sister. <laughs> are we? Are we that tight now? All right, Lana, I have Lana, a sister, actually. Lana, we have more questions to get to. Uh, yeah, exactly. Man. you got to get past this. Okay. See, see what's happening? All the questions? See, it's, it's, it's a snowball. All right. Uh, John in Plant City would, up, like, would like to know uh, if JR feels that the Shamrock Shake at McDonald's should be served all year long. Ooh. 
Uh, John, whatever you would like, because I've never had it before. What? Not interested in the Shamrock Shake. What? No. Oh, so Why? Good. Not my thing. It's not my thing. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be boring. I'm just very particular about what I like, and I just don't like. It doesn't look good to me. Okay. I'm not really looking to drink anything green, to be honest with you. All right. Wow. All right. Vegetables <laughs> included. All yeah. right. All right. Uh, Alicia from Brooksville texts in and says, what is something you never told your parents? Oh, that I... I like bad. this one, Alicia. There's got to be a few of these. I think I've told you this off the air. Real quick story. In high school, I had, a, I had a, a, a lifted truck. I was pulling into a parking spot, and I clipped a girl's uh, uh, back of her like smaller car, okay? And it lifted up her car, and I backed out. And my dad, listen, my dad can't see his hand in front of his face, but he can spot a dent from about 100 yards away <laughs> on his car. So that was the whole thing. Hey, don't get an accident. You have to have a 3.0 to do this. Well, I hit this car, lifted up. I backed out. And it had a big old dent in the side of her car. So I came, I, I was coming to school a little bit late because of not having the first period. So I went and parked somewhere else. The whole day I'm feeling oh, like, I know, I'm feeling horrible. Like, oh my gosh, my dad's going to kill me. That was a hit and run. Da, 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 da. This is so messed up. Well, the next day, I, mean, I went home. I was feeling horrible all day. And I knew this girl. I knew whose car it was. Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, I got to tell her. Her name's Allison. So I said, uh, I go, I got to tell Allison. So I had a class with her the next day. Allison, I go, hey, where's Allison? Where's she, where's she at? You didn't hear? She totaled her car on the freeway yesterday oh. after school. Oh, my goodness. So I said, it's total. Probably won't tell her. And that was literally what happened. And I never told my parents that story because my dad would have still been ticked off yeah. because there was a little bit of a dent on, well, on my truck. She's okay, though, right? She's definitely, yeah. This was years ago. Okay. Definitely okay. Crazy real quick. A year ago, I got a random a DM from her. Haven't talked to her in years. She DMs me and says, hey, I just wanted to let you know I've thought about you. And I just want to let you know how I just I appreciate so much how nice you were to me in high school. You were just the greatest friend and she so no nice. no idea. Zero idea. When, I mean, she was, yeah, I, I was like, oh, that's my God, it felt bad. even worse. But anyway, uh, her car's fixed. She's fine. She's married. She's having a great time. Yeah. Right. Oh, All that's right. bad. All right. Last and final one. This is a quick one. If you had to pick. You could spend one hour with this person, only one hour. Would it be Tom Brady, oh. Will Ferrell, Jim Carrey, or Mike Trout? Ooh. Only That's a good one, one hour. Someone knows I'm an Angels fan. One hour. Man, I already have that person, but um, wow. it's going to be, you know. Tom Brady, Will Ferrell, Jim Carrey, or Mike Trout? Jim Carrey. Go really? Jim Carrey all day, yeah. Just oh. because I just because I've interviewed Will Ferrell before, and I spent a week. I know, with him, but he's your favorite. But I spent a week with him uh, on the set of Step Brothers when I worked on that set. So I spent a week with him on there. Got to talk to him a little bit. So yeah, we'll go with the person that's not on the list. I don't want to hang out with Mike Trout. Mike Trout just—I mean, he's just awesome, amazing. I just feel bad about myself. How great of a baseball player he is. <laughs> I think, gosh, dude, you're so, I'd be upset about how talented you are. Wow. Oh, no mention of Tom Brady then. No. Not at all. You know, hey, listen, Tom's got a lot on his plate right now, as he said. Yeah. I got a lot of mm, on my plate right now. Yeah. Awesome, man. That's I don't want to complicate things with any questions. So all there right, you go. Very good. All right. That was pretty good. That was good. It's a real wow. story, by the way, about that car that's, situation. It's oh. awful. I know. I felt horrible. But then, you know, listen. Dad knows now. He was already going to the shop, so why not, well, you know, why rub it in? Did something else happen to her car?